Hello there, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're going to be looking at the Sorcerer's Tower from Printable Scenery. But before we do that, roll those credits. Sorcerer's Tower. Um, this is from Printable Scenery. Um, some of their models are unbelievable. Partly being because um, they print with no supports. Um, which is amazing. Obviously this was not printed in one piece. Um, they split and key everything. And they also split everything apart because it's supposed to be a game space. Um, so, let's get a closer look at this first. Right, now you've seen it close up. Um, the reason this is supposed to be a playable game space is it comes apart. Every piece comes apart and is exactly as it should be inside. Stairs, flooring, Roof, everything comes apart. So, you see in there? It's just a normal building. The doors all open and close. You'll see that I've actually put some LED bulbs in mine. Um, so, of the night time, you can turn all them on and out of all the windows, you get a uh, glowing green light, red light, whatever light colour you want to use. It goes together like ridiculously well. Um, there's no effort in it. This is one of, I don't know, maybe 20 buildings in this series they've got. And again, they print with no supports, which genuinely I find amazing. Um, but they are fantastic models. Along with this, this is the Sorcerer's Tower. Along with this, there is evil, also an evil Sorcerer's Tower. It's got a lot of skulls on it, stuff like that. Um, it's something I've always wanted to get around to doing just to go with this. Um, Never got round to it. There's so many things on the list I want to print. Um, and this is not a quick print. Like, It's not a quick print because, you know, there's a fair few hours involved in this with these pieces. But what it isn't is a quick paint job. A paint job on this seemed to take me forever. Um, now, I love the way it came out. Love the way it came out. But it took forever. Just... Just doing the stonework alone was a long job, and then painting all the timbers, that took a while, and it was boring. 
and to be honest, I don't want to ever have to do it again. Um, but I do love the way this come out. Um, <clears throat> we don't play any tabletop games. Um, so this just sits on my shelf with all my other stuff. But it does look super cool. Um, and it is the sort of print that thinks, makes you think, mm, I wish I did actually play a tabletop game because this would be cool to use. But saying that, I do love this model. Um, it's been sitting up on my shelf for quite a while now and I see it earlier and I was like, you know what, I'm going to share that, do a video on it, see what people think because um, I do love this and I know there's a, there's a lot of people who do love the work printable scenery do. Um, they have just got some excellent models. Um, you'll know if you might remember James did uh, a big a big ship, a big frigate. That was printable scenery. Um, so they do they do a real mix of stuff, but pretty much everything they do just looks cool. So you know, go check them out. Well worth a look. But um, I hope you like it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, as always, plenty of videos coming up. Um, so stay tuned and uh, we'll see you on the next video. So thanks a lot. Bye.